Good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're uploading our morning video as we speak right now. Jerry Jones is beginning the process of finding a defensive coordinator. Um, we do know that Joe Witt was named late last night as the defensive coordinator. We'll see if Al Harris follows suit or if Al Harris will actually be one of those interviews right there. It seems like the Cowboys have been more talked than anything else about what they're doing. We've heard Jerry Jones Jones, who, you know, it seemed like they were lackadaisical because they were like, well, if Dan Quinn doesn't get hired, he's coming back, which means you didn't really make any plans for him not being here. And now the mad scramble where Jerry Jones is trying to tell us that he's going to make a big splash. I don't know how you make a big splash when most of the big names are all hired and so forth, but we will see. We know we've got, um, Mike Zimmer, which I think is probably the leader to become the head uh, defensive, excuse me, to become the defensive coordinator. We have Ron Rivera and we have Wink Markendale that are all coming in, as well as uh, they were going to be interviewing Joe Witt and uh, defensive line coach um, Adam Durson. So there we sit right there. But what's become an annual event is with Buffalo where we know the situation that happened with C.D. Lamb's family, um, his mother, so to speak, and, of course, saying Dak Prescott's not the one and so forth. Well, here's an interesting one because uh, Josh Allen, a guy who everybody says is generational and stuff, it always seems at the end of the season that Stephon Diggs wants to get out. Now, I am doing... Now, because I'm trying to keep pressure on Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones, who says we're going all in. I'm trying to give you examples of what going all in means, because I don't think Jerry Jones knows what it is. When you say that, you know, we're going to make a big splash in hiring a coach, I don't know that Wink Markdale is a big splash, unless we're talking about belly flopping. Right? So when Jerry Jones says all in, I don't know if he understands it. So here we have Stefan Diggs with his cryptic tweets. And, you know, you wonder if Stefan Diggs just likes to play with us, um, so to speak, or, or what? I, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. But if the Cowboys, we know that Stefan would love to play with his brother in Dallas, who we've got a long-term deal put in place for him, Making a move for Stefan Diggs would be an all-in type of a move. Let's go to the tape this morning on uh, ESPN where they describe the tweets. This was not on camera, but I will read you his quotes. He said, obviously, there's a lot of changes going on, a lot of things going on. I can't really put the carriage before the horse. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what the future holds, but I'm still being me. And when asked if he was ready to move forward with the bills, he replied, I'm ready to go no matter which way it goes. It's not a very Speculation, definitive though. response. It's not, it's oh, not. yes, I'm dying to be back in Buffalo. I want right. to finish my career there. What should we make of that? I think there's a, I think there's a chance that he's elsewhere. I do. And, and there's a lot to figure out. In what out. better place than well, Dallas? They have, you know, they have to replenish on, in, the, in the defensive secondary. Even if Diggs is back, they probably need to add a piece uh, at, at wide receiver, maybe one or two. But – Look, he, he kind of vanished from the offense a little bit second half of the year when Joe Brady became the offensive coordinator. Brady is back as offensive coordinator next year. We know that last offseason there was some dissatisfaction with Stephon Diggs and the team, and Stephon Diggs and the coaching staff. So we don't know where that relationship stands. The contract is, is not easy. Like, it would be a $31 million dead, dead money hit if they were to trade him. Um, but if he were to want out, hypothetically, if he were to want out, then maybe you could you could work with him on the contract a little bit and, and maybe uh, figure something out. But I would not be surprised if this is if this was not the last time we heard about this. I it, think it, there's a chance he goes elsewhere. Yeah, it has just felt for a while, D. Wood, and, and it's not clear, at least to me, exactly what the genesis of it all is, and it may be more than one thing, but it has just not felt for a while like everything is A-OK -okay with Stefan Diggs in Buffalo. Yeah, it, it seemed like it's been trending that way pretty much, you know, uh, a couple years ago. Yeah. The second half of the season, 
you know, his, his production really diminished. And then, obviously, we know about that playoff game against the Cincinnati Bengals where, you know, just saw the frustration and how animated he was on the sideline. And it's been, been trending downward ever since. Mm -hmm. And, we, you know, Joe Brady coming in, being a new offensive coordinator, we saw that his role was, was diminished again this year. Yeah. Can that relationship be repaired? Because something is going on with Stephon Diggs in, in this organization. Nick. Yeah, Diggs was the spark that kind of got Josh Allen's career to shut up into the stratosphere. And it feels like they've gotten that out of him now, and it doesn't feel like he's as important to the offense. I still think he's an incredibly talented receiver, but whatever's going there doesn't feel like whatever's going on there doesn't feel like it's going to end well with Stephon Diggs, which is bad for Diggs probably to go somewhere else because the chances are the quarterback won't be nearly as good as Josh Allen, but it also sucks for the Bills because to Graz's point, they don't have like a huge stockpile of great receivers. They Even if they keep digs, they need another receiver opposite him. So when your quarterback is as good as Josh Allen, it's important to have weapons that he trusts <laughs> and likes to throw the ball to. Ooh, and we at least likes. know that at some point he trusted uh, Stephon Diggs. And if he's gone, they're going to have to go get two or three new receivers and hope right, we'll figure two of them that out land at least. As we work. It is time for sound off. Interesting. All right. People. So there we have it right there. So looking at that, your thoughts. Stefan Diggs would be a big chunk of change. It would be some draft capital, serious draft capital. But if you're saying we are going all in and you really want to try and help your quarterback, that's the kind of moves that you end up making to bluster your team. So there we have it, good people. I don't know what will happen, of course, this offseason. I don't know if Jerry Jones is just blowing smoke up our ass like he usually does, if they will actually make any moves um, or not. I know that um, Stefan has not seemed happy in Buffalo for a long time. They are trying to change the dynamics of their offense. Like they said, remember when they played us, what was interesting was they took the ball out of Josh Allen's hands. Don't get me wrong. I, I give Josh Allen a hard way to go and so on because Josh Allen does have some incredible talent. But from time to time, he'll just decide to just loft that sucker up and make bad plays and bad decisions. And they don't really hold him accountable for it. Last year this time, it was all Dak interceptions, Dak interceptions, Dak, Dak the turnover machine. Dak had half the interceptions of Josh Allen. Half. Half, Eddie. I want half. And nobody talks about interceptions any longer. But that's the way it is when you are with the Dallas Cowboys. Again, I'm not saying go get Stephon Dix. But in the grand scheme of things, when we go into a season and we have a C.D. Lamb, who is an incredible talent, but I feel like he needs a dog to go with him. Noah Brown, a bunch of guys, and a crippled Michael Gallup. You're doing your quarterback, your team, and your fans a disservice. If you're talking about going all in, that means I'm going to get playmakers. Playmakers. We'll see, Jerry, but this is what All In looks like. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, you know I love you guys. Peace out.